What that draw means is that Destiny is still in Manchester City's hands. Let's just take a look at the table. They are four points clear of Liverpool, who are of course in action on Tuesday away against Southampton. But City go into that final day of the season against Aston Villa, knowing that a victory would seal the deal. However, if they fail to beat Villa and Liverpool win their final two matches, it will be Jurgen Klopp's side who are winners of the Premier League. Well, let's welcome in, shall we? Frank Leboeuf, Julian Laurent, Nadam Anua, Nadam, I feel drawn to start with you. How were you at half time? Well, <laughs> I, I'm not going to say I was nervous because, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. But I was surprised that they were two goals down. And I knew that this was going to be a big moment for them because could they react? You know, being away at West Ham at the end of the season, that's a tough fixture. That sort of emotional day for Mark Noble, the fans' expectations as well, and the fact they could take up the role of an underdog, you know, it kind of suits what they were going to be doing for their game plan. So I think for City, it was always going to be a test, and I think the timing of the Grealish goal really sort of settled a few people's nerves because you knew that they were going to create other chances. Obviously, there's a bit of luck in there as well with the Antonio mischance and a couple others. But I think overall, you know, I think as uh, Stevie said earlier in the day, it's kind of, it almost felt like... Um, a reaction of potential champions because they found a way to get a result. They didn't want to go into that last game of the season trying to have a potential shootout on goal difference. And now, as Pep said after the game, they're playing at home with a chance to win a Premier League title. And everyone in that building that's representing Man City, you know, they're going to be all in 100% and it uh, could make for a very good day for them. Yeah, you've got to say, Frank, City's character has proven to be extraordinarily strong over the last week. After what happened against Real Madrid, five past Newcastle, five past Wolves, 2-0 down at half-time against West Ham, yet they still find a way to get back into the game. Yeah, and it's maybe then uh, the sign for, for, for everybody that, uh, that they're going to win the Premier League because they deserve it. At the end of the day, they were on top of the league for, for, for a long time. They show character, as you mentioned, after the loss of the, the Champions League uh, round. And they, they, do what, they did what they had to do. And they never gave up. And, and uh, this afternoon, they showed real character. And uh, they could have won that game uh, if uh, Riyad Mahrez uh, would have uh, uh, scored the, on the penalty. But I, I really have nothing to say. I think uh, it's, re it's written for me. Manchester City is going to be the, the champion of England. And uh, hopefully for the Liverpool fans, uh, Liverpool will win the Champions League. Frank, you always have something to say. <laughs> Don't give us that. Uh, meanwhile, Jules, uh, you're of course there. What an atmosphere that must have been, particularly in that first half. It was incredible, Dan, that's true. Nadam alluded to it in the sense that it was a very special day because it was the last home game ever from, from Mark Noble and all his family. And you, you really felt like the crowd wanted that day to be special and the game to be special and the players responded really well to it. Zinchenko made, made two big mistakes that cost the two goals and in fairness to him, he, in the interview that he did after the game for all the broadcasters, including with me, he put his hand up and said, I made a mistake, I should have defended better, it was, it was on me. But the way they reacted and the fact that they still have the destiny in their own hands, I think is, is by far the most important now. It is, of course, then all down to Liverpool now. They've got to get that win against the Southampton. That, of course, is on Tuesday. They then take on Wolves at Anfield. City taking on Villa at home. City beat Villa and they are once again champions. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.